Hey there little sharks, it's the inflatable sea lion here and today my boyfriend and I embarked on a journey to get red cherry shrimp. We've been wanting them for a very long time now and today we finally decided to achieve that goal. However, that doesn't mean that we impulsively bought everything. We did set up a tank about two weeks ago to cycle it to make sure that the parameters were safe for the shrimp and so they wouldn't die from any ammonia spikes or anything of those sorts. So basically, this video is a compilation of our Petco trip, as well as our two attempts at setting up a tank. You'll see exactly what I mean in about a minute. Although it's been set up in cycling, it hasn't been decorated yet. We saw this beautiful fluffy cat. Um, we saw a panther chameleon, which is actually one of Trent's favorite animals, so that was fun. We saw this beautiful day gecko, very pretty and bright. Bearded dragons, there are probably three tanks of them or more. Red-eared slider turtles, I reminisce over them because I used to have one as a child. Leopard geckos. And here were the plant section. We probably spent about 20 minutes to decide on what plants we wanted, but we're pretty happy with our choices. Here are the faux plants and the rest of the plant section. Here's all the fish food. It took us a while to find the stuff for the shrimp. However, we did discover there was this little mini shrimp section, which was pretty cool. I looked at the guppies because I could never resist watching them. And once we finally found the shrimp, we were so excited that we didn't even get the video of them in the tank, but we did buy the very last three. Here we are taking our new cherry babies to their final destination and here we are just adding the substrate and everything to the tank it already had water in it that we had to take some out because there wasn't enough room to fit everything in and as you can see we were extremely extremely struggling with this plant um, i haven't had any experience with carpeting plants before so i have no idea how to tuck it into the substrate we actually had to zip tie the one plant to the gravel because we had no other ideas and then once we were done we acclimated the shrimp then we added them to their new home and then the shrimp roamed around for about a day until we completely revamped their space i would just like to briefly mention that this is not a permit tank. I do not really consider it ideal to keep a community of shrimp in a one gallon tank. Although they might be nano sized, it's not the most amount of space for them. They'd prefer something a lot larger, maybe a five gallon tank. But this is just temporary until they find their permanent home, which will be probably a 20 gallon. Thanks for watching. If you're not part of Shark Paw already, make sure to join us by clicking subscribe and see you little sharks.